Hi everybody, Candia here with Simply Candia today. I'm doing something a little bit different than I normally do. Um, Marta on Merrimy Small Art has put a challenge out to do art in 10 minutes. I tried it already and I failed epically. I, it took me 40 minutes to do, what, so, do it. So I'm trying again and I wanted to share it with you guys. See if I could um, do something a little simpler to get it done in 10 minutes because I thought that's a fun challenge. Um, here's all the supplies I think I might use. Um, so we'll see where it goes, what happens, and I'm gonna move this stuff all over so we can get started on the page here. I'm kind of thinking, and then I have my timer here. I'm kind of thinking of doing something where like concentrated from here going out a little bit so we'll see um i do like to play with mixed media even though i haven't done anything on my youtube channel yet but is mixed media like so um this is the first time i'm sharing that with you guys so let's get started i'm going to start out with some gesso i'm just going to do a quick layer of gesso over the whole page and I have some other color in my brush that's streaking across the page, but that is all right because it looks cool. Oops, I forgot to start. Okay, got started there. Only a few seconds off, no biggie. So I'm just using my normal art journal that I use all the time. And so now that we got this layer of gesso down, I am going to lay some washi tape. I thought I'd do some washi tape, lay it into the gesso, help the tape stick a little bit. And if Jesso gets on it, that's okay. Just kind of layer them up here. I think I got some ink on my hands or something, and there's black coming from somewhere, and I can't figure out where it's from. And then this one. Oh. And then I want to do a little bit going this way too and see how that goes. I have this cute stamp that I'm going to use that I'll put in the corner of this. I'm using these washi tape for just a bit of texture. Now let me get the gesso dried up here real quick. I did a nice thin layer so it shouldn't take too long to dry. put just a touch of gesso over the washi tape just to blend it into the page a little bit. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of background stamping. I have pieces of flip-flops that I like to use. They're two different patterns for background stamping. And I think I'm going to do it in this gray color. And that is Memento London Fog. Oh, I still want to use that for this one. He's, it's fun to look for flip-flops, you know, they have them at the dollar store for, for cheap and get yourself a great little background stamp for real cheap. There, there we got a nice background going. The main focal point of the stamp that I want to use I think is this one. And I want to put it right here, but I think I want to double stamp it. I'm going to do this first in this bluish color. This is a dye ink pad, so we'll see how it works. Too bad, and then I want to do it in some black. About four minutes left here. Kind of cool to me anyways and then I'm gonna do some background stamping with this script stamp I have here too with the gray have this smooch spritz that just makes everything shiny. So I'm going to give a little bit of that. Does not want to spray very well though. Just adds a little bit of luster. It's hard to see in, on the <coughs> camera, but I'm going to add a little bit of shading around my washi tapes and since I put the gesso on the paper it allows me to do some rubbing to smear it out a little bit kind of just to find the Tape a little bit. It's a little wet from the smooch, so that one was smearing a little bit more than I was anticipating. Just a little definition here. There we go. I like that. Now, I have two minutes left. I have some carbon black. I'm gonna drop some here. Some Liquitex um, golden, the fluid acrylics. So, add just, oops, see? Add just a little bit of water to it. And I'm going to sprinkle some black on here just a little bit. Can't go without black. I'm going to use this to 
add some edging. So I like to edge my pictures. Just frames it nicely when I edge them. Okay, and then I got a minute left. I think I'm going to add a few little butterfly stamps around here. This temple stamp. Just kind of stamping randomly not trying to get a perfect stamp. Then um, something else I was thinking, what was it? Oh, I think I'll add a sticker real quick. Let's see if I can find something. Um, let's see. Let's do Replace Fear of the Unknown with Curiosity. I think that goes good with this. And look at that, I finished. So I got my 10 minutes done, I got a little piece of art finished, and um, that was fun, spending 10 minutes creating that. It came out cute, I think. Anyways, so, um, I hope you guys have a great day and try out um, Mar Marta's from Marami Small Art on YouTube here, her 10 minute art challenge. Check out her video, I'll link it below. And try out your own 10 minute art and see what you come up with. Have a great day, bye.